All right, so on the first question of this paper, um, we've got a ratio question. Let's give it a read through. Tyron, James and Barry each receive a bonus. Tyron, James and Barry share a total of 5,500 pounds in the ratio four to three to three. Tyron thinks he will get more than 2,000 pounds. Is Tyron correct? So this is the type of ratio question where we're trying to share out 5,500 pounds in this ratio. Uh, I always quite like a picture for these. One, two, three, four. Here's just a picture of the ratio that we've been given. Uh, it's four to three to three. Um, and because we're talking about money, we can imagine each of these uh, circles as like a little pile of money, a little pile of cash. Uh, and we need to split 5,500 pounds in this ratio. The first thing we're gonna do is take our 5,500 pounds and split it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. So the first thing is we add up the parts of the ratio to work out how many pieces we need to split our 5,500 into. Now dividing by 10 is uh, a lot like knocking off a zero in, in lots of ways, so the answer is 550 to this part, which tells me that each of these little circles is worth 550 pounds. Uh, so if I pick any of these, it's 550 pounds. So again, just to recap what we've done and why we've done it, if we need to split 5,500 pounds in such a way that I can give one person four pieces, one person three and another person three, then altogether that's 10 pieces that I need to split it into. So I split it into 10 pieces and each piece is worth 550 pounds. Uh, and then from there, we can work out how much each person would get. Now we're only interested in Tyron, so we're only gonna work out how much Tyron gets. He has four parts or four shares and we've worked out that each share is 550 pounds. So the next thing we do is take 550 and times it by four. Now there are different ways you can do that. You could add up 550 four times. You could do a grid or a lattice method to multiply those together. Uh, for me, what I think of when I'm times it by four is doubling it to get two lots of it and then doubling that to get four lots of it. So if I do 550 times two, uh, that answer is 1,100. And then we times that by two to get 2,200. Uh, so you don't have to use this method at all, this is just my way of doing it. But as long as you've got some way of doing 550 times 4 to get 2,200, you're fine. So that is how much Tyron is going to get because he gets four parts of the ratio. Each part is worth 550, so his four parts is worth 2,200 pounds. Now the question says Tyron thinks he will get more than 2,000 pounds. Is Tyron correct? Uh, and the answer is yes. Um, he gets £2,200. You don't necessarily need to include that little bit of extra information because we are going to have it on our working out grid, but the answer is yes, he's correct because he does get more than £2,000. Now, everything I've drawn on the screen is the equivalent of you doing stuff on paper. You may like to do it on paper so you can get your head straight, so you can get your um, calculations correct, but you're only marked for what goes on the screen. So we need to transfer the maths that we've done into the grid. Now the first thing we did was when we did 5,500 divided by 10. Uh, and the answer equaled 550. That's the first thing we did. Uh, we then took that 550 and we times it by four. Uh, and the answer there was 2,200. 2,200. Um, and that's how we got our answer. So that's it, that's all we're working out we need to show. Um, we divided by 10 because we need to split it into 10 parts in order to give one person four and then three and then three, that's 10 altogether. So we split it into 10, uh, worked out that each one in the ratio is worth 550. So one in the ratio is 550. So four of them is four lots of 550, which is 2,200. Uh, cool, yeah, that's it, hope that helped.